Hi everyone, we're in Port Macquarie now. I just hit some op shops that didn't hit them all. Hit most of them. I hit my favourite ones. I found one I didn't know about. <sighs> Story to that one, and I'll tell you about that later. Um, I want to quickly show you. First off, yeah, I want to show you something that I got the other day. I forgot to share yesterday. But if you're interested in all the dramas I had this morning, jump onto my um, the Aussie. Aussie Boomer channel, <laughs> check it out. But I'll be posting it later on today. But yeah, I had a bit of an upset drama here this morning because we always stay here. But anyway, we're here. So I want to show you what I got the other day before I left McLean. I went to the tip shop and I got some stuff from my friend. She buys stuff and I bought some stuff for her. But I also got these sealed VHSs, John Wayne, two lots, $5, $2.50 a packet. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I can't see any comps for it, but I'm sure there's going to be buyers. Um, but yeah, completely sealed up. No damage to them. All in good condition. Got those. And I forgot to show you because they were buried. And yesterday, I've got to show you this too. And they're going to laugh. My husband laughed when I told him. I picked up these Bratz shoes, legs, feet, things. Okay, 50 cents a packet. And I thought, I'm going to get them because I remember somewhere, seeing somewhere about people buying this sort of stuff. And I checked out... Um, Checked out the comps on uh, eBay yesterday. Six dollars fifty a pair. That's what they're selling for. So if you see these all loose, packed like that in an op shop, grab them. I'm going to sell the lot for twenty five plus postage. So that's what yeah I'm going to do. So here we go. Let's watch what happened today. <clears throat> Shopping day again. Put my quarry. We're heading to our uh, Lifeline here, and Vinny's down there, right next to each other. So it's good and I will be doing others shortly. Yes, I am foot ready. I'm not going to damage my toes anymore in op shops. So, yeah, got my boots on today. So, ready to go. Hi, everyone. I'm going to show you what I got at the last two op shops. Once again, I'm fiddling with my camera. Okay, first of all, I'm going to apologise because every time you see me, I swear I'm in the same shirt. It's because this is my favourite shirt and I have very little shirts. Always hunting them. But, yeah, that's why you see me. It is cleaned, but <laughs> I did have it on yesterday and today. Okay, the first stop shop. My 12 year old grandson is desperate for a flanny shirt. He loves flanny shirts, so I'm hoping that fits him. Nothing exciting to write home about there. I got a Paul Jennings book for 20 cents. I don't think she charged me for it actually. I ended up getting that little mouse set. I don't know why. In a minute, you'll see there is a freaking, um, there's a freaking heap of, um, yeah, these around at the moment. I'll show you the next. You'll see it. You probably, yeah, you'll see it in a minute. So that was this is a lifeline, okay? So. I got this little box. I love boxes. I love wooden boxes I collect. This is mine. I've got one with dice in it too and one with cards in it. So this is this is uh, Knots and Crosses. Now it says $2.50. After I'd paid, she realized that she'd only charged me 50 cents. So I was like, bargain. And she said, don't worry about it. So I said, okay, I won't worry about it. So that was the first op here. 
plus something else you don't want to see. That was Lifeline, and again, Lifeline is probably second to my unfavourite place to go because it's full of all new Chinese stuff that I can get from myself if I wanted to, and overpriced. All the vintage clothing, as you would have just seen, it's very overpriced. So, not happy, happy at all. Okay, this is Vinnie's now. So, you've just seen the little shorts of, yeah. <laughs> anyway, you've seen the shorts of the Vinnie's shop. And in Vinnie's, I didn't do too bad. Now, I did pay a dollar each for the books, but they're really nice books. So, I got all these. I hadn't heard of this this person, this book lot before by Big, oh, it's Big Trouble, uh, uh, R.A. Spratt. But I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. They're a dollar each. But this, the comps are pretty good. And then the comps are really, really good on this lot. So, um, uh, what is it called? A murder Most Unladylike Mystery. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. So, yeah, I've got, and these, these are going really well. If you have a look on eBay, they're going for good money. So I'll grab them as well. So hopefully I'll sell them. I don't have book readers, and if I did, I have got no girls that age that would read them anyway. So while I was in there, I also picked up, they had really cute, see this salt and pepper shakers, they were so cute, but I don't need any more. My mouse was just a splurge for me. I got two of these. I thought they were funky. I like the 70s sort of vibe to them, but there's no print, no maker's marks or anything, but I thought when I get my house, they'll sit in my kitchen really nicely. So they've got a very, yeah, very, um, very 70s vibe. And what else did I get? Oh, yeah. I got this only because my husband brews his own brew now and I thought he could put one of his brews in this. <laughs> these, these are usually I think filled with vodka or something from the bottle shops and they're quite expensive. So yeah, I got it for $4 so that's for my husband to put his brew in. So that's that's all I got there. I'm heading off to more. There's quite a few in this town so I'm a bit excited about going so I'll see you soon. Let's feed at the ready. I'm heading over to this op shop. Called Hope. I did a well in Hope yesterday at um, Black Cat Eye, and I've done well here before. And yeah, let's hope I do well again today. Well, the hope didn't give me any hope today. I got nothing in there, even though they had 50% uh, off everything. I'm pretty fussy. Um, I'm heading over there. I don't know if you can see it in the distance. Lifeline down the road. I'm too lazy to walk, so I'm going to park down.
go, Salvos. Here we go. Let's hope I get something. Don't ignore the old time stuff at um, carousels and stuff. They're worth money. Oh, that's so cute. The hat pin stand. Oh, I like that. It's lovely. Some 70s stuff down there. Check it out guys, new op shop, haven't been to, I've missed a few of them because I haven't got time, um, but yeah, it's a new op shop here, so I'm running in a battery power, so you're not going to be able to see inside it, but yes, enjoy that view. So, Lifeline, that was the one I left you at last, and this is what I got at Lifeline, I think. <laughs> here we go again, I'm just trying to get my get my thoughts together of what, where I was last, but I'm pretty sure... Lifeline. I got books. That's what I got. I got books. What a surprise. Okay, that was that one. So I, I this was the very first time I've actually seen. I think maybe the second time I've seen a set of books that I could afford. I actually bought these ones, and I don't know if you've seen them before, but they're called the Thirty Ninth Clue. Thirty Nine. The Thirty Nine. Thirty Nine Clues. Thirty Nine Clues. It's a whole series there. All right. So that was really good. But with that, and they were going for good comps on eBay, but they. All, I also picked up the rest of the. It's all these um, individual sets as well, like that are uh, extras to the books. So I've got about four or five of those. Whoa, sorry guys. Um, yeah, five books of five. So a dollar each. These were a dollar each. These ones. So a so dollar each. All the books are dollar each. That was really good. So I was happy with that. Then I went to the front counter and they had three books for a dollar. So I picked up the Dork Diary things. What are they called? Dork Diaries. Party time. Girls, I suppose. So I've got those there. I think that's all I got there. That was really good. Excellent. And then last second last op shop I went to was Salvos. And I got books. <laughs> Told you I'm not gonna I'm gonna buy books. I got this one. Never heard of it before. It was four dollars. Okay. The reason I got it is because it comp it sold on eBay for $32 plus postage. So it's a hippie hippie shake. It's got the trip the dreams, the trips, the trials, the Love-ins, the screw-ups, the 60s. It's got lots of writing in there. It's got pictures in there somewhere, which I saw before. I don't know whether in the middle of the book. Um, yeah, but someone saw, bought it. So I thought, well, four bucks. I'm going to get that. So I did. <sighs> then I've got another book. The 40s, because I'm really into history, as you guys know. And this is really cool. And it's like new. It's got the DVD with it too. So I thought it'd be good for the kids to watch. Um, all the historical things that happened in the 40s. Movie stars, um, war. Uh, you know, all that sort of fun stuff. So yeah, I got that. I might keep it. I'm not sure. Maybe. I think I will. Um, while I was there also, guess what? Sealed DVDs. Two sealed DVDs and one not. Um, two sealed DVDs. Ghostbusters will probably sell really fast. It lives in Seattle. I didn't like that movie. Some people love it. So I grabbed that as well. And one unsealed for the kids to watch because my girl was my girl. Eldest girl's favourite movie as a kid. And then I got these two Kiss guitar books um they comp really well this one was comping really well so i thought i'd sell them together so yeah got those two five dollars for the both and that was good because i know these sort of things are quite expensive you buy them new and they're, they're like new they hardly had and they've got nowhere put it that way and then i went to one which i didn't share with you it was RSC, rspca which i'm not a big fan of rspca because it's usually overpriced but i did get I don't know which one this is. Someone tell me. Save me, please. Is it Raphael or I don't know. Anyway, 2013, I think he was. Plus a little bag of um, big little bag of his uh, self. <laughs> so yeah, 
a few other pieces in there that belong to the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. If I had a room like you guys do, I'd probably start collecting this stuff and put it up because I see a lot of the my friends with their um, room, CJ, Furlong. I haven't seen your room, but I've seen the other room, like Dover. Dover the Flipper, he's got a really cool room. Some of the others have got really cool rooms with all their little toys up there. But yeah, he'll probably go for sale. And then the last one I went to, as you'll see right now. Super, super disappointing. I said yesterday Anglican churches, Anglican church op shops are my best, my favourite. They're always cheap. Wrong. <laughs> that would have to be the most expensive Anglican church I've been to. It was perfect in every way. It had lots of stuff. It had it had it messy like I like. You know, not messy, but you know, you can go and sort of poke into things. It had all that going for it. It was fantastic. But... It was overpriced, like mega overpriced, like, like brooches. You know that we used to buy for five dollars each and such. Fifteen, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five dollars, and all that vintage stuff had been priced to. Yeah, I was just yeah. Anyway, the lady even said they need to drop some prices, so it's not all sitting there. But what can you do? Anyway, I did get. Is it Perio? Like I moved again. Sorry guys, I've left my good thing behind. Um, you know these ones from the eighties. I'm going to start collecting some more of the eighties stuff because. 80s is sort of pretty popular not as popular as the 70s but still put it away and also a pair of Ganda jeans because my granddaughter loves Ganda and I bought them because my phone went flat and I couldn't ask if she wanted them so I got them anyway and they're only five dollars and I'll sell them if she doesn't want them and that was it that was it that is all I have to share with you today whether I get to any more tomorrow I don't think so I think I killed all the best ones in town maybe one there was one other one I didn't go to that usually pretty good. Mm, wasn't that good last time. Hope was great last time. It was terrible today. There's two in the main street. They're really overpriced because they've got to pay all their street fees. Um, that's it. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Don't forget, happy hunting. Bye.